I'm hoping that HTML links is something that you've done a lot of and that you um, are very familiar with the basic idea of a link. But what I want to do is go into a little bit more detail about those links and um, talk to you again about them from a, a somewhat different perspective. Uh, an HTML link is created with the A tag. A does not stand for link, A stands for anchor, as I think I've mentioned. Um, and there's a number of things that I want to talk about the, um, I want to talk about in, 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 uh, in, the, in that A tag. And the first one is its basic idea as a link. So the things I want you to definitely be familiar with is the idea of the href, which stands for hypertext reference. And that's the, that's the, the target, the thing that the link is pointing to, and you, I'm sure you know that much by now. Um, a couple of things to know about that href attribute. First is that it takes a path. You have to give the path to the file that you want the next page to be, that you want the target page to be. And so I've talked about that in the, in the, in the topic on, um, on paths, but let me just review that. You can have an absolute path or you can have a relative path. The relative path says the new page, the page that I'm linking to, is, um, uh, is in some folder that is relative to the folder of the current page. The absolute path would say, forget about where the current page is, um, I want to link to this page regardless of where the current page is. So I would start from the root of the website, which is beginning my path with a forward slash, or I would start from the root of the internet, which is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, right? Those are the ways that we do absolute and relative paths. So that much is review. One additional thing that I want to mention is the ability to create a link inside the page. So think about it you can create easily a link from page to page simply by specifying the file name of the new page that you want to link to. But how would you go about specifying and it's on paragraph 27 on that page? I not only want to change files, I not only want to link to a new file, but I want to go to a particular place within that new file. There has to be some way of specifying that and it turns out the pound sign is the way to do that. So if I proceed, if I, if I type in the name of a page like uh, xyz.html, pound um, uh, paragraph 23, P-A-R-A-G-A-R-G-A-R-P-H, paragraph three, right? I type that into the, after the pound symbol, that will say go to page xyz.html, go fetch that page, um, display that page, and then look for the place on the page that has been named paragraph 23. Okay, so in addition to having, the, having a, a path to the file, I can also have an internal specifier. Now the internal specifier sort of breaks the rules of hierarchical specification because I don't have a specifier inside a specifier inside a specifier. That would actually be nice and I would really love if someone were to implement that in HTML so that I can point to the location inside the HTML file in that same hierarchical way because the HTML file itself is a hierarchy, it's right, a root tag and tags under it, that I can point to a location in that file the same way as I point to any other hierarchical location, but it doesn't work that way. In fact, inside the HTML file, we only have one flat list of location markers and it will jump directly to that location marker. Okay, that's the href attribute. There's also a target attribute. Um, the target attribute specifies the window or frame that I want that new page displayed in. If I include a target attribute and I put a, the name of a, the, any name in there, the browser will automatically open a new window and that window will henceforth be, carry that name. So if I say target equals window two, now I've created a window too. There doesn't have to already be a window too. I created a window too, and now my new file will be displayed in window two. After window two is already open, if I have another link and it also specifies window two, then the contents of window two will be replaced by the new file. Okay, so I can create as many windows as I want with whatever names I want to name them, and then target my content to those different windows. Same thing works with frames. We're not going to do too much with frames in this class. But if you ever work with frames or iframes, iframes are just another form of the general concept of frames, which you can Google and look into if you want to. I can also target my content to various frames using that target attribute. Okay, so that covers the use of the A tag as a linker to create a link. And as I've said in other places, I wish they just called it link because that's really would, it would be much clearer what's going on if I called the tag link than if I called it A. But now we're going to get to the use of the A tag that actually warrants the name A. So we have the A tag used for links. We also have the A tag used for anchors. And an anchor actually is exactly what I talked about earlier. It's that place in the page that I would like to be able to jump directly to. So I have a long web page. It maybe has 15 scrolls. I want to be able to jump into the middle of it. In fact, I want to be able to jump to paragraph 23. 
And so I put a label on that spot, that location in the uh, HTML file, and I name it paragraph 23 so that I can jump to it using pound 20, paragraph 23 to specify the internal location of that web page. So I have the use of the A tag as a link that specifies a target, and I also have the use of the A tag sort of as a destination, specifying an anchor, specifying a place inside an, inside an HTML page that I'd like to jump to. So in that usage of the A tag, we don't use an href attribute, we don't use a target attribute, we simply use a name attribute. It says name, excuse me, it says A, and then name equals paragraph 23 or whatever I'd like to name that location. And I include that A tag in the file, in the HTML file, as a marker, as a named location inside that HTML file, and then I can jump to it by saying pound paragraph 23. If I'm already in the file and I want to jump, say, from the top of the file down to paragraph 23, all I have to say in the URL, in the href of my A tag that makes the link, is pound paragraph 23. If there's a corresponding A name equals paragraph 23 in that same HTML file, then the link will be made. If I want to put it inside of a... So, so that's a, the idea of having the relative path inside of the href attribute of an A tag the relative path could be no path at all. So if I'm jumping to the same to a different location in the same HTML file, no path is necessary at all. All I have to do inside my href attribute is say pound paragraph 23 and away I go. Okay, so we have the use of the A tag as a linker and we have the use of the A tag as an anchor. In one case it's specifying a destination, in another case it is the destination. And that's why the A tag is so confusing. So you might say, well, this is kind of an obscure point, but you'll see the same point coming up over and over and over again in this course because we make extensive usage of jumping to the middle of a page. Instead of creating three different pages with three items on it, we're going to create one item with three pages and then allow you to link to three different places in that page. So it's a technique that's used a lot and it's one that you should really know about.